Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Cardiologist. Today's exercise is a good one for polar array and boundary creation commands from the modify panel. The exercises presented to you on this channel should help you to improve your drawing skills and become more familiar with AutoCAD commands, their functions and locations on the interface. If you have doubts about the use of any tool, you could always go back to the previous tutorials, specifically tutorials 1 to 6 to learn more about it. To make it easy for you guys, you could use the timestamps in each video's description to skip around to the part you wish to review. Do your best to watch until the end so you don't miss on the important details. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell to stay updated. In this video, we will draw and dimension together this object that looks like a steel gear. When you open AutoCAD, click on Start Drawing from the interface. If the grid is activated, turn it off from the status bar or use F7 key to turn it on and off. Type units in the command line and make sure drawing units type is decimal, precision is 0.0, .0 draw units is millimeter. Type LA to open layer properties manager and create a layer named object. Create another layer for dimensioning Change the dimension layer color to gray number 8. Double click the object layer to set it as the current layer. Then close layer properties manager. Make sure ortho mode is activated. Click on this little arrow of OSNAB and check endpoint, midpoint, center and quadrant modes. Before you start the drawing, be sure to save the file and keep doing that from time to time to avoid losing your drawing and effort by mistake. If you are saving for the first time, click on save from the quick access toolbar. Choose the file location and type the name. Then click on save. Click on the application button, click on options, Go to Open and Save tab. In the File Safety Precautions, make sure Automatic Save is checked and at every 10 minutes. Moreover, you can click on Ctrl plus S to save your progress anytime you want. Draw a circle of 10 mm radius. Draw a rectangle from this center point mark that is 15 mm long and 3 mm wide. Move it 1.5 mm left. Select the rectangle and click on this little arrow to choose polar array. Specify array center point here. Select the array. Type X for explode and click space. Select the circle and activate the trim tool from modify panel. Trim everything inside the circle. Activate the trim command again through the shortcut TR. Click on space again so AutoCAD can assume that all objects in the drawing area are selected. And trim these parts. Window select the whole object, then type J to join all segments into one. Draw a circle from the center point mark of 25 mm radius. Draw another circle at this quadrant mark and 4 mm radius. Select it and do a polar array around this point. Change items number to 8 and click on close array. Type LT in the command line and hit space. In the line type manager click on load. Scroll down until you find center. Click OK. OK again. Now, select this circle and go to Line tab in the Properties palette, which can be accessed through Ctrl plus 1. And choose Center from the list. Change the Line Type Scale to 0.1. Make an offset of 15 mm for this circle. Draw a 5 mm radius circle at this quadrant mark. 
Select it and do a polar array around this center point. Change the items number to 16 and click on close array. Click on this little arrow of hatch tool from draw panel. Choose boundary and click on pick points. Click with your mouse left button anywhere here. Hit enter to end the command. Select the array, this boundary, and the circle, then delete them. Offset this circle 25 mm outward. Draw an X line from this point to this point. Select it and activate mirror tool from modify panel and specify the mirror line first point at this center point mark and the second point anywhere in this direction. Hit space to end the command. Select both X lines and trim these parts. Then delete them. Draw a circle of 5 mm radius at this endpoint mark. Select it and activate path array. Then click on this arc. Grab this arrow and move it to this center point mark. Make an offset of 60 mm for this circle. Type MA for match properties command. Click on this object as the source and on this object as the destination. Offset the circle 15 mm outward. Draw a 10 mm radius circle at this quadrant mark. Select it and do a polar array around this center point. Change the items number to 20 and click on close array. Select both circles and the array. Click on isolate tab from status bar and choose isolate objects. Type PO for boundary creation and pick the internal point somewhere here and hit enter. Select the array, this circle and this circle then delete them. Click on isolate tab again and choose end object isolation. Draw an X line from this point to this point and another to this point. Offset the circle 55 mm and 35 mm. Activate boundary creation and pick the internal point somewhere here. Then delete the X lines and circles. Activate fillet command from the modify panel. Type R for radius, specify fillet radius 10 mm. Type M for multiple, select this corner and this corner and hit space to end the command. Select the object we just drew and do a polar array around this point. Change the items number to 3 and the between angle to 60 degrees, then click on close array. Type HA for hatch command, select the pattern and click here. Hit space to end the command. Repeat the hatch for this part in the same manner. Select the hatch, change the scale to 0.5 and increase transparency to 80. Dimensioning. Change the layer to dim for dimensioning. Type D and hit space to open dimension style manager. Click on new and type dim 01. Then continue. In the lines tab, make sure baseline spacing is 3.75, extend beyond dimension lines 1.25, offset from original 1. In the symbols and arrows tab, Change arrow size to 1.8, make sure dimension break size is 3.75, and go to text tab. Change text height to 2. In the text placement field, make sure vertical is set to above and horizontal is set to centered. Change offset from dimension line to 1. In the text alignment field, check aligned with dimension line. In the Fit tab, make sure overall scale is selected 
and the values 1. In the primary units, set the precision of linear dimension to 0 and the same for angular dimensions. Click OK, close. Go to Annotate tab, click on this little arrow and choose Aligned Dimension. Measure the distance from the circle center point to here. Click on this midpoint mark to place the dimension, select it and go to Properties Palette and the Text Alignment field. Change Horizontal Text Position to First Extension Line and Vertical Text Position to Centered. Click Space to repeat the Aligned Dimension command, since it was the last command executed in AutoCAD, and dimension the rectangle width. Choose Radius from the Dimension list. Click on this circle to find its radius. Place the dimension somewhere here. Repeat Radius command using the shortcut DIMR. Click here to find the radius of the circle we used before to draw this shape. Choose Diameter from Dimension list. Click on this circle to find its diameter. Place the dimension somewhere here. Repeat diameter command using the shortcut DIMD and measure the circle diameter. I will use the radius and diameter dimension commands to measure all remaining circles and arcs of the object and you guys could follow me doing the same. Now we need to prepare the sheet to print the drawing. Go to Layout Sheet, select the existing viewport and delete it. Right click Layout 1 and rename it to Exercise 09. Right click Exercise 09 and go to Page Setup Manager, where we can set the sheet size, orientation, quality and many other things. Click on Modify. Change the printer name to DWG to PDF. Make sure the paper size ISO full plate A4 is selected. Check scale line weights and plot transparency. Make sure landscape orientation is selected. Then click on OK and close. Type V port and hit space. Choose single and click OK. The command line is asking to specify the first corner or just click on space for fit. If you go to Layer Properties Manager, you can see a layer created automatically and named Diff Points. It was generated when the first dimension was created in the drawing. This layer is imprintable and stores information about definition points of dimensions. It's usually used for the viewports and for any detail in the drawing you don't want to print. So, select the viewport and go to Properties, then change its layer to Diff Points. Now, to print the drawing, we need to insert the title block. We created together in Tutorial 8 of this course. Remember, title block is a template for the sheet you want to print, and it involves imperative information to identify the drawing. So, I will open Exercise 01 that we did in Tutorial 8, and copy the title block from there. Select the title block and its content. Type CO and select copy paste. Specify the paste point as mentioned in the command line. Click on this mark and go to exercise 09. Click on Ctrl plus V for paste command and place the title block at this endpoint mark. Select the viewport and adjust the boundaries to be inside the title block. Click on scale from the status bar and check one to one. Double click inside the viewport, then click and hold the mouse scroll wheel to adjust the drawing location. If the scale is changed while moving, you could simply adjust it back as we did before. Click on the lock sign to lock the viewport and prevent any changes for the scale. If the title block includes a logo and for some reason the logo disappears when you copy the title block, 
From one drawing to another, we can help AutoCAD to locate the logo and resolve this issue by using the XREF command. This is my logo and the status shows that it's not found. Click it twice, locate your logo, and click on open. Change the drawing title to Tutorial 16-Exercise 09. Change the scale to 1 to 1. Change the date and the drawing number to yt dash CAD dash TT 16 dash EX dash 009. Click on Ctrl plus P to open plot setting. If this window pops up, just click on Escape button. Click on Preview to check out the drawing before making the printout. Click on Print. Choose a folder. Type the file name. and click on save. In this tutorial, you practice many tools from the draw and modify panels, but mainly it focused on the use of polar array and boundary creation commands. I purposely tried to exclude the commands from the ribbon as well as using the shortcuts in order for you guys to be more familiar with the tool's location on the interface. Again, if you want to know more in detail about any tool or command I used during the exercise, I recommend you to watch tutorials 1 to 6. Keep practicing AutoCAD, even if you repeat the same exercise several times in order to enhance your drawing skills. And don't let this video end without subscribing to the channel and ring that notification bell to receive more exercises to practice.